Hi from Early Funds. It is just past five. Time to make some coffee and to go see if you can find that lion that was roaring the entire evening. When we are in this side of the Kruger National Park, we can just never drive past the Nwamanzi lookout point. Check this. We keep a yearly list of all the birds that we have seen and the easiest way to get the boxes ticked on that list is to go and identify all the doves. There is just so plenty of them.
it is almost 10 o'clock. We've been driving on the S39 towards Timbavati since 7 this morning. This road has proved to be absolutely fantastic. Uh, we just took a stop here at uh, Ratelpan Hyde. So from here we are going to Timbavati picnic site and making our breakfast or slash brunch at this moment. So the hide was very quiet with just some giraffe and some birds but it's always nice to just stretch the legs um, especially with a long morning like this. Now we're off to make some breakfast. We wanted to make a nice kotel breakfast at the Timbavati picnic site but it was too busy so yogurt and fruit had to do. We never made a nice breakfast at the Timbavati picnic site in the morning as we have planned because it was extremely busy that site. So we decided to stop at Sokwani picnic site for a few minutes longer and have a decent lunch. The picnic site was still busy but the, it is a larger picnic site so there is a lot more tables that was open. Sokwane is one of the best picnic sites in the entire park according to us. As with most of the picnic sites in the Kruger Park, the vivid monkeys has become a nuisance all over. They have some of the best pies available. Kudu and buffalo are some of our favorites. <laughs> Their little shop is also very well stocked with a big variety of items available to purchase. After giving our legs a very good stretch and our tummies filled up, it was time to go find the leopard that was hiding from us until our last sighting of the day.
We had a quick stop at Sunset Dam close to Lower Sabi, and as always, it did not disappoint. We just left Crocodile Gate with not a minute to spare. We had two leopard sightings from Lower Sabi to Crocodile Bridge. The first sighting was in perfect, perfect sunlight in the afternoon. We calculated the time that we could spend with the leopard based on the distance we still had to go to Crocodile Camp. We did not take into consideration that we will see another leopard sighting for the day, so at the second leopard sighting we could not spend a lot of time. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and if you would like to see more of this content in the future, please consider subscribing.